Welcome to the produce section of America. Workers in the Rio Grande Valley don't just harvest a crop, but a piece of Texas history. With large bags and wooden ladders, they hand-pick one of the jewels of the Lone Star State, the Texas Red Grapefruit. Though grapefruit has been grown in the state for over a century, it was an accidental discovery in the late 20s that put Valley Citrus on the map. A single pink grapefruit tree out of nowhere started growing red fruit, and the ruby red was born. This ultimately led to the development of an even redder variety known as the Rio Red. Dr. Richard Hintz was the developer of this grapefruit, and it's just a darker red. It's very eye-appealing. It's a little sweeter in taste. It's well-regarded. Dale is passionate about citrus. He started growing the fruit right out of high school. About 70% of what he and other valley farmers grow ends up in grocery stores. The rest is sent to the local juice plant because of wind scarring. Despite many challenges facing valley growers, this year's crop looks good, up 10% from last year. But with a drought that doesn't want to let up and a neighbor to the south that doesn't want to cooperate, next year's harvest is a mystery. The current amount of water that Mexico owes the United States is about 600,000 acre feet. Well, that would be phenomenal for sure for the, at least the three biggest districts in the valley who are virtually out of water right now. A 1944 treaty requires Mexico to release a set amount of water for U.S. irrigators, but this is not the only struggle in valley orchards. Farmers have also been dealing with a moth known as the Asian citrus psyllid. It carries the most serious disease for a citrus plant, ultimately killing the tree. Valley growers are pulling together to keep the pest at bay. There is a valley-wide effort amongst ourselves, the growers, to try to suppress it the best we can. And we all time our sprays according to the growth of the tree, a flush, so to speak, and, and that's kind of how we're combating it. Since the 28,000 acres of citrus in the region have to be harvested by hand, having someone there to pick the fruit is essential. Which, uh, you know, obviously leads to immigration reform issues that are, that are upcoming in Congress and whatnot. We've ha we have to have a good labor force. We've got to get the crop picked. In 1993, the state legislature declared the Texas red grapefruit the official fruit of the Lone Star State. So with each crop, farmers like Dale are helping to grow the Texas legacy. For TFB News, Jessica Domel, Monte Alto.